Very good morning, everybody. Now you find me here today uh, on the way to go and see Albar Chapel. Now it's a spiz and it isn't a spiz because I'm on my own and we've been there before. And um, what I'm really going up there to do is just have another little explore and do some spiz or whizzing, as we like to call it. Just do little videos and put them on our channel. So first of all, however, I have stopped at McDonald's for a coffee and I'm absolutely starving today, folks. I have nothing to eat. So I'm having a hamburger as well, but we're going to be eating on the move because I like to get going. We're going to be on the B978 for those of you who like to follow my adventures. I've stopped here on a bit of a bad bit, so I better get going. So I'll see you when I get to Albar Chapel. Alrighty, goodbye. Alrighty folks, here I am. I have arrived Jarive at Albar. Now this used to be a big mansion house just over there, um, but unfortunately it burnt down. So all that's left, there's a pet cemetery up there, a couple of follies that way, and a fantastic chapel away down there. So that's where I'm going to be heading folks. So do join me as we go searching for Albar Chapel. Well, today. You've got to be really careful here, folks. There's snares here. Look at that. There's one there. This looks like some sort of trap as well. Crikey. Right, folks. So as you see, this place is laced with traps and snares and everything. I'm going to have to be really careful going up here. Uh, this is used by gamekeepers to catch rabbits, foxes, pheasants, all that kind of stuff. Oh, crikey, see what I mean? There we go already. Gee whiz, Jack. Right folks, here I am then at the Folly in Albar. This was used by the family. It's a fantastic little spot here. It overlooks the little river that goes down here and you could see right over to the other side where the house would have been situated. It's just like a little balcony kind of area. Fantastic little Folly. And there's some sort of heraldic thing up there. So folks, I made it down to the bottom without any mishaps. So there you go, the folly right behind me. It really is a fantastic place, love coming here. Um, so 
This always gets a good solid 8 out of 10 on the speedometer folks. Uh, we've been here before. There we go, let's have it. A lovely 8 for the folly. Thank you. Right folks, I've come right down to the river because I've got me wellies on so I thought I'd maybe go for a little guddle along the riverbed and try and get underneath the bridge. That's always eluded us down here so let's just uh, do it. Oh, it seems to go underneath some... Oh, I don't know. Right, I've come up to the, the other side of the river. I had to abandon that. Uh, I've come looking for the pet cemetery now. Should be up here somewhere. There's three dogs buried up here. Can't remember their names now, but let's see if we can find the stones. But first, we come up to this, what must have been some sort of garden ornament, I suppose, like a, a fountain or a a well or something. So I found one of the stones. Here it is. This one's to Patsy. Yet it, oh, I can't really read the rest of it, but Patsy lies here. <laughs> Right, I think the second one there, I think that's called Bruce. I uh, just could make it out and no more. There's a third one somewhere, but I'm not sure where it lies. Well, I thought I'd found Bro's grave there for a minute. This dog's called Dopey. <laughs> the third one, just right there. Buried at the front of the house. Well, what would have been the front of the house anyway? I suppose this would have been the garden area right here because the house just sat on that sort of little embankment there. So this indeed would have been the garden. Right, now I'm going to go and find the chapel, folks. Yeah, so the embankment just there where the tree starts and the snow line ends, that is where Albar House would have been a magnificent house in its time, passed down to the generations. And uh, here's a picture of what it used to look like. Okay, look, beehives, lots of them. Now then, we're heading down to the chapel of Alvar. This was a place that Bro and I discovered by accident. Uh, I can't remember why we found, I think we just drove, we just saw those pillars of the gatehouse. So we drove up here and just went for a little wander. And uh, as we do, as we explore the place, and uh, we just came upon this absolutely fantastic, definitely one of our better finds and one of the, uh, the best adventures we've had. Uh, now, which way do we go here? Hang on. Uh, hmm. So what we're on now, folks, is this old pathway that runs down into the... Uh, so it's like a little valley where where the chapel lies. So this must have been the old path where the parishioners would have walked down back in the 16th, 17th, 18th, whatever century, all the way down here. And uh, coming around the corner here, as we enter this lovely little glade where the chapel and graveyard lies. Now it really is a fantastic area that we're in here. Brickin in particular 
is uh, steeped in history, uh, especially with the plague in 1663 or 1683, I can't actually remember. There was a lot of um, death and horrible stuff happened here with witches over in Forfa. The whole area is steeped in pagan mysticism and picked history as well, folks. So this Albar Chapel just really does add to the sense of mystery of the whole place. So at the moment we're in this kind of little valley place. It's well hidden, it really is. You wouldn't find this unless you, uh, unless you were like us going exploring. Now, folks, on the door here of Albar Chapel, we have this mystical symbol, this one here. And then we have a letter or a number 53 as well, and the letters P and C. So, can you find out what that's all about? I love all this mystery. Okay, folks, well, there we go. That was Old Bar Chapel. Fantastic little hidden place. One of my favourites that we've discovered. It just is. I love the, the atmosphere here and the way it's hidden away. And it's like our own little private find that nobody really knows about. Excellent. This one always gets a good solid eight and a half 
out of 10 on the speedometer, folks. So there it is. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And we'll see you again very soon indeed. Thank you to all our subscribers and everybody that comments on our page. We do appreciate it, everybody. Thank you very much. And we will see you in our next adventure. Bye for now.